Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and in this video, we're going to continue our work on creating a more general project management pipeline for uh, land surveying projects in Trello. So if you watched the, the uh, previous video in this set, we took what was our site development uh, pipeline, so a pipeline for uh, project management on site development projects, and we're, we're just trying to tweak that to fit a, a wider range of projects that you might find at a surveying firm, and so we renamed the board and rejiggered the list a little bit, and then uh, added this list here in the hopper, and we, we made a couple cards for these two projects, and so what I want to show you now, now that we, we um, with some very small changes, we have a pipeline now that could support a wider range of projects. And so I want to show you that's a great thing, right? We've got this more general pipe so that we could come in and have one board to kind of view the status of all our projects, right? So the, the goal is you can look at this one board and figure out where all your different projects are, you know, where they're at in this particular pipeline. But uh, we also want to be able to, to tailor some of our some of our information on the card we want to tailor to the individual project, right? So the idea is we've got a general board, so a board with a, with a kind of a more general pipeline, but more detailed cards to support a, a specific scope of services. And so in this video, we're going to go through and we're going to tweak the card for this first project. And uh, if we have time, we'll do the second one, but we might have to do that in the third video, but we'll, we'll, we'll get through this first project for sure. So let's go ahead and open that card. So this is a, a project where we're just doing a topo survey. So there's some flooding on a parcel uh, that's been caused by some adjacent development. And we were hired to come in and do a topographic survey to try and assess uh, the site conditions and figure out what type of improvements might be made to resolve this flooding. Okay. And so what we want to do is we want to customize, first thing, customize these, uh, these checklists. Okay, to fit the particular scope of services that we have on this project. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up that scope of services now. And I have not studied the scope of services in detail in preparation for this video because uh, I wanted this to be real life. And so we're going to, it's going to be real life. Uh, we're going to trip through it a little bit, uh, but that's all right. Um, and so we're going to, pull open the scope of work here and I'm going to look at it with you. Okay. All right. So here's the scope of services for this project. Okay. So we have an initial survey and some topographic mapping that we're going to do. Okay. So it's a fairly short scope. Okay. Uh, we're going to tie out some survey control. We're going to do a UAV flight. Uh, we'll establish three on-site control points. Then we're going to do aerial mapping. Based on the UAV data set, we're going to do some ground infill surveys, and then we're going to prepare some topographic mapping, basic topographic mapping, which is going to include some planimetric lines or 2D lines of major features, and they're going to get a uh, delimited text file. Now, I know from discussions with the client, we also told them we would give them a, uh, we'd prepare a surface model with some contour lines because they, uh, they don't have to be able, the ability to do that um, on their end in their software. Okay, so this is a fairly simple scope of work. So what we want to do now is we want to tweak this card so that it matches this scope of work. Okay, so let's go in. We're just going to start up here at the, it, with this first checklist. Okay, so project kickoff meeting, we want to go ahead and leave that. Okay, review the scope, review the budget, man hours, discuss any unique challenges, cover uh, safety for the field work, uh, tell people where they're going to charge time and uh, make sure that we update the notes and the surveyor report. So all that's still going to apply to this project. So this checklist we're not going to change. And it, it, it probably won't be changed for most of my projects. Okay, now this next project, this next checklist, excuse me, is for boundary research. And we do not have boundary research on this particular project. We're not doing a boundary survey. So this is really easy. We're just going to delete that checklist. Don't need it on the card. Okay, so one click. Okay. Now we've got topo research, okay? And we have some items here that we aren't gonna need because we have a pretty narrow scope on this topo, fairly simple. We're just doing preliminary design. 
Okay, so it says identify utility service providers. So we're not going to do that. We don't need to do that. We don't need to prepare a utility as built plan request letter. And we don't need to um, obtain as built for structures. This is a residential area, so there's no as built. Okay. We do want to update the project notes and the survey report, though. Okay, so I'm going to leave that in there. So not a lot of research to do here. There's a little bit. Okay. Uh, we are going to have field work, though. So we're going to leave the field work checklist here, but there's some things we don't need. Okay, we do want to look at road safety. We are going to have to coordinate access. We do need to prepare a topo survey plan. Okay, but we don't need a boundary survey plan because we're not doing a boundary survey. So we can delete that item. Okay, we're not dealing with monument searches. We're not doing a boundary we're not dealing with uh, survey maps, filed survey maps. We're not doing a boundary. We aren't going to have any as-built plans. Okay, we are going to meet with the crew to go over the field work. We do need to schedule the field work, and we do want to update our report. Okay, we want to execute the field survey. This doesn't need to change. Okay, we are going to have raw data coming back from the field. So let's just skim through this. Make sure there's nothing we need to delete. Download the data collector files, download the field notes, download site photos and videos, review the field notes, review the site photos, create a working TBC project, review the raw data in TBC, export and clean the point files, export and clean the line work, update the project notes and survey report. Everything there I think we need, so we're not going to delete any of those. Okay, now I'm going to come back to topo mapping, okay, but I'm just going to jump down. We have this boundary mapping task here, but we're not going to do boundary mapping on this project. So we can just delete that list. Okay. Now let's come back and look at our topo mapping. Now this is an important part of the project because this is where we're, this is the main section where we add value, right? We're taking that raw data and, and making something producible with it. Okay. But we probably aren't going to need all these things. So let's just go through the list. We are going to need a 2D drawing. We told the client we'd give them a surface with contours, so we are going to need a 3D drawing. We will have points to import. We are going to place some blocks for the topo. We will have line work to clean up. We will have 3D brake lines to clean up. We do need a surface model. We do need to create and label contours. We will have spot elevations and hatching. We will have some feature labels and a legend. We are not going to prepare sheets on this, so the client's just going to get a drawing. So we can remove that one item. Okay, but everything else needs to stay here. Okay. Come down here to deliverables. We do need to check the drawing and clean it up. Okay, but we are not going to have PDFs on this project, so we can delete that. The client's going to get a drawing. We will send them our point files, so that needs to be cleaned and finalized. And we will send them our site photos, so those also need to be clean and organized for the client. Okay. Then we have our final check. We need to peer review the topo. There's no boundary, so we can delete this item. Okay. We do want to do a file audit, and we want to make sure that we do a final review of the scope. Okay. Project closeout isn't going to change typically. It's going to be the same for most projects. Send the deliverable, finalize the survey report, evaluate the performance of the field crew, complete the topo mapping evaluation. How did the office staff do? Okay, now I don't need a boundary mapping evaluation because there's no boundary survey, so we can delete that item. Uh, we'll evaluate the client. What kind of client were they? Prepare our final bill, prepare and send the project closeout letter, review how we did on the budget. Uh, let's document any lessons learned. Okay, now. That's pretty basic, right? Go in, delete the checklist we don't need, remove items we don't need, but we want to review the scope and make sure that there aren't specific items or checklists that needed to be added back in. Okay, so when I look at this scope, let me pull it back over here for you. Okay, I notice I have a UAV flight. Okay, and I also have um, some aerial mapping that we need to do. Okay, and so I want to make sure that we address those issues we also say that we'll deliver uh, oblique site photos from the UAV and an ortho photo. Okay, so we want to make sure we address those items. So let's start with the flight for the field work. So if we're going to do a UAV flight, there are certain things that we need to do. So I'm going to come in and add some items now to the field work, prepare for field work checklist. Okay, so we need to check airspace. Okay, we want to always make sure we're doing that. And we want to prepare field crew for UAV flight, okay, so I'm going to want to look at the area we're flying with the field crew, talk about obstructions, potential hazards, make sure that they've got a UAV, batteries are charged, it's in good working condition, etc., etc. Okay, so these are two items that we added to our checklist because we're using the UAV, okay. And then in the execute field survey, 
we want to add, I'm going to add a, I want to make sure they take their targets with them too. Okay, so I'm going to add an item here and we're going to say uh, execute UAV flight. That's not something we do on every job, so I'm going to add an item here so we don't forget. Okay. Okay, now raw data management. Uh, we also have some additional items here we need to add, so we're going to say download UAV photos. Okay, and we'll move this up because we need that. All right, we'll put it right down here. Okay, so we need to make sure that we get that done. Okay, and in the topo mapping, we also have a couple uh, additional ad items. So we need to say process, ortho photo, and uh, DSM, digital surface model, in soft copy photogrammetry. So that's an extra step because we're flying the UAV. Okay, so I'm going to put that, go ahead and put that up at the, actually, you know what? Let me think about where this belongs. I'm actually going to put this in uh, raw data management. Okay, and then in the topo mapping, we're going to add an item. We're going to say uh, perform aerial mapping. So we have a we have a different software that we use to do our aerial mapping. Okay, so that's where we go in and we create points and line work on the on the orthophoto with the DSM. So I'm gonna put that here. Okay, so we have some extra tasks there because we're doing a a UAV flight, and then I want to make sure that we come down here and let's see on the deliverables. We want to add a couple items, so we're going to say uh, rename and review oblique aerial images, and we want to say review ortho. We're going to say review and tile because we might want to tile ortho photo. Okay. All right. So now I feel like we have a, a card that reflects our, our scope of work, does a good job of that, okay? Now, one thing you might want to do, you don't have to go in and add all those items every time you've got a job that has a UAV flight, so we'll start using that UAV more and more. So you can come back in and, and tweak your template, right? So we can come in here and say, uh, check airspace and uh, prepare field crew for UAV flight. Okay. And oops, sorry, this is supposed to be down here under prepare for field work. I'm gonna put these down here at the bottom. Okay, and then under execute field survey, we're gonna add that item. Execute UAV flight. Okay, and then raw data management, we need to download UAV photos. Okay, and so we're adding these to the template. So that we don't have to add them every time we've got a project with, uh, with, air, with the UAV mapping. realized I made a mistake I skipped one we also need to uh, uh, create ortho mosaic and or let's just call it ortho photos and DSM and then down here in our deliverables we want to add uh, Rename and review oblique aerial images and review and tile ortho photography. Okay, so now we'll have that in every template. We can just delete them if we don't need them. Now, another way to do that, if you wanted, instead of spraying those through the different phases, is you could add a separate checklist and just call it UAV. So we could call it UAV mapping, 
and uh, we could go ahead and add those individual phases. So you want to check the airspace, prepare field crew for UAV flight. Uh, we want to uh, download UAV photos. We want to prepare uh, ortho photos and uh, digital surface model. And then we want to uh, rename and, and review, oh, perform aerial, uh, aerial mapping, uh, rename and review oblique aerial photos. And then uh, uh, we want to review and possibly tile uh, the ortho photography for the client. Okay, so we can also just have those in a separate list too. I like having it breaking these items out, spraying them out into the individual uh, phases because I think that works better, but you could also group them here in a separate list. Then you can just delete this list when you have a project that doesn't have UAV mapping. Okay, all right, so fix that template up, customize this first project card, and we're about 17, 16, 17 minutes, so I'm way over my time limit. Um, so we'll do a separate video. We'll come in and we'll uh, customize the card for this uh, boundary survey.